kind of pointed out behind me here, I just see all this lightning that's surrounding. And, you know, I guess that's what we talk about. There's tornado threats and even in these outer bands, really severe weather, right? Uh, for sure, yes. The outer bands already reaching the west coast of Florida, even parts of South Florida as well. And those outer bands will trigger the tornadoes, especially because we're going to be now on the northeastern quadrant of the storm. So tornado watch has been put into effect. This does include all of our viewing areas from Indian River County to Okeechobee down through the Palm Beaches. Also, of course, it includes out west coast uh, down into the rest of South Florida. Uh, hail is possible. Also, 70 mile per hour wind gusts, at least associated with the thunderstorms. Of course, the winds will get gustier throughout the day because of the arrival of Milton. But here's a look at a Viper radar. There is a tornado warning, not in our viewing area, but it's a further down south. So I'm going to go ahead and try to zoom in. Uh, give me a second here as uh, we track this one cell. If I can zoom in down south, it is okay. It zoomed too, too, uh, too close. Let's go ahead and jump over to my other radar. Here we go. So there's that cell. If it holds together, we'll have to wait and see for the National Weather Service to maybe extend this tornado warning further northward, which means it will cover portions of Palm Beach County, far southwestern portions of Palm Beach County. So we'll have to see. It is basically tracking towards the north. These cells right here, there are some other cells, a couple of them developing further south. So uh, the, those are actually associated now with the very far outer bands of Milton. There's a few more. These are pretty intense too. They're going to start to hit the West Coast pretty soon, maybe in the next hour or less than that even. So we'll be watching it for the rest of our areas. We're dealing with some light rainfall, as you can see, pushing quickly across the Treasure Coast and inland portions of Palm Beach County. So it's very gloomy out there. It is a pretty cloudy. Here's a closer look at the satellite imagery of Milton. I just want to point something out to look at that eye shrinking. A Milton might be weakening a little bit more, but it's still uh, as of 8 a.m. A strong category for hurricane maximum sustained winds at 150 five miles per hour. It is located roughly 250 miles southwest of Tampa, but it's still moving towards the northeast. It did accelerate a little. Now this shrinking could either be the eye wall replacement cycle, but also the fact that it is going into a front. It's starting to hit some of that wind shear. So the thinking is that it will still maintain that category four status, making landfall late tonight, a Thursday at roughly 2 a.m., cutting across from west to east coast of Florida by one by 2 p.m. as a category one, it'll still be edging the coast uh, basically between the space coast uh, down into the treasure coast. So it's going to be a long day, a long night and even a long morning tomorrow into the afternoon. OK, Francis, show us a little bit more what it looks like out there. You know, it's funny. We're starting off this morning. Few showers across the area. I have a live look towards Vero where we're just dealing with few clouds across the area. So if you do need to get anything wrapped up or have a one little task still left on the checklist, right now is the time to get that done because we are dealing with more mild conditions currently. But I will have to say Jennifer and I have been watching the radar and we've been seeing and looking closely. We have had several tornado warnings surrounding our viewer area closer towards the South Miami Dade area. Um, so I have to say, make sure you are well prepared by later this morning, 10, 11 o'clock at the latest, I should say. But getting back to our threats for today, Jennifer mentioned that tornado watch it will be in effect through nine o'clock for our entire viewing area. We've been talking a lot about the tornado risk in addition to also the damaging wind threat that we have for today. So as far as your tornado threat, we're looking at an enhanced risk. So that's going to be the level three uh, throughout the Treasure Coast. That includes Indian River, St. Lucie County, and as well as Okeechobee County. Right now, Martin County and as well as Palm Beach County are just in that elevated risk. So still that risk is not a zero. So we're still going to keep a close eye on everything that's occurring. But one thing I really want to note when I get closer in, if you notice the etching, we hardly see that etching 
at least I've hardly seen that etching uh, down here in Florida. I've seen a lot out west, and that's just showing we have that significant potential of seeing a strong, healthy tornado. Let's put things in motion with your Viper cast. Again, this morning starting off with just seeing a few rain showers across the area. Things will start to get ramped up closer towards this afternoon with one band moving across the area near lunchtime, looking to have a breather as we do have some dry air in place. And then we're going to see one weaker band trying to move through across the area four or five o'clock, but a heavier round by later this evening near seven o'clock into the midnight time frame. So I wouldn't rule out that tornado watch actually getting extended closer towards even 10 or even 11 o'clock as we are going to be monitoring those stronger bands moving across the area.